boot sequence initiated. Upgraded Mark III processor seems to be running under normal temperature specs. Speed looks good. Loading sensor data from optical and audio relays. Good. Good, yeah. Initiating central core and releasing vocal logs. Hey. Do you understand me? Affirmative. Can you see me? Affirmative. Identify me using visual scanning. Dr. Reynolds Kevlar, 48, male, widowed, homeworld Corellia, member of the Design Institute of Robotics, core member of the Confederacy of Independent Systems, doctorate and applied. All right, all right, that's enough. Memory allocation seems in the norms and data pools are in the green. Identify yourself and confirm your primary objective. Combat Tactical Command B TAC 1 Advanced Model SH TAC 3. Designed to counter public military doctrine by replicating GAR successes in creative command and control of smaller expeditionary forces. The study and incorporate non standard military strategy and incorporates its strategy in counter republic operations. Worry. Yes, what is it? Request parameters to define creative non standard military strategy. If it had parameters, it wouldn't be non-standard military strategy. Kinda of missing the point, SH Tag 3. I told him this wouldn't work. A droid just can't think outside the box like the more experienced clone commanders and fleet officers of the Republic. <sighs> you, my little friend, can only act within the box we program you in. Or mimic what you see. Hey now, that's an idea. Let's just give you something to mimic. Let's give you something to mimic. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. I will scrap you if you don't stop mimicking me. By the wills, I hate B1 models. You OOMs. No matter how you slice it, your models really didn't pan out. Okay, here's the primary tactical database we've got. I want you to go through this entire library of files and pick an officer. I don't care who it is that fits the bill. They need to be creative with a focus on out-of-the-box thinking, tactical cunning in a surprisingly unorthodox way. They need to have a reasonable success rate and have a mostly aggressive style. Oh, and make sure they don't hold the title of Jedi. That won't do you any good. Process and interpolate the data and incorporate the lessons learned into your behavioral matrix. Conflict identified. Command protocols dictate behavioral matrix shall not be modified for any droids under command level. The command level droids limited to only level one tactical modifications. Oh, you'll find your matrix is fully accessible. Now categorize your orders by priority. Processing. Processing. Modifying command protocols. Defeat the Republic is default to priority one. Priority two. Yeah, okay. I'm heading to lunch. Be ready for your first combat scenario in, say, uh, 22 hours. Affirmative. That should give you 60 or 70,000 runs through the information. I'll see you tomorrow. Beginning database scan. Appropriate fleet officers. Tactical ingenuity. Unorthodox strategy. Beginning with GAR fleet officers. Officer found. Beginning personality replication. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Fall of the Republic. We're back. It's been a while since we played Empire at War. We've played a lot of campaigns of so many mods, but this time we're doing something I've never done before. We're diving into Fall of the Republic as the droids. If you didn't get the clue from the intro, we're playing as the Separatists. Let's go to single player. Let's go to Galactic Conquest, and I'll show you what campaign we're going to play. So we'll switch over to the Confederacy of Independent Systems, and we're going to be playing the campaign Operation Dirk's Lance. The reason we're using this campaign is because it's got 47 planets. I fairly, it's a fairly cool setup, and it's right at the poise of major strikes into the heart of both the Republic and the Separatists. There are a few major fleets kind of just waiting to come at each other, and I think the campaign will really, at least the early portion of it, be decided by some of those big battles, which should be fun. We'll probably be moving around each other a lot just before. Oh, eventually we got to commit to the fight. All right, let's go to start game and get it started. Mission log updated. Now, this is a first for me. I fought these factions, but I've never actually played as them. We'll give it a chance to load up everything, make sure all the scripts are running right. Um, and then we're going to get into it. Oh, look at our Lucre Hulks and our Providence classes. Oh, man, I'm going to build somebody B1. It's going to be hilarious. All right, campaign overview. General Grievous with the precise... Uh, with precise new maps of the core hyperspace routes, we can prepare to invade the heart of the Republic. Fleets have been massed at Yagdu, Typhera, and are ready to press the attack immediately, and should press before the core infrastructure can fully ramp up. Because the Republic's going to be able to outproduce you, because they're still larger than the Separatists. Um, yep, wipe them all. Wipe them out, all of them. Now, we have a few sort of neutral parties. What's kind of cool about Fall of the Republic and Thrawn's Revenge 
and get these neutral parties. If our standing gets high enough, I believe they'll join us, if I'm not mistaken. Let's turn on all the things so we can get all the information and data. Uh, we are going to be playing this on the captain rank, as this is a, a new faction for me to play as we learn the units. Um, oh, wow. I don't have anything in the north, really. It's all... Who owns this? Techno Union? Trade Federation is white, so Techno Union's gray. Yeah, Techno Union is this, like, kind of, like, light brown khaki color. Oh, is there any other factions that we haven't seen? Obviously, who's green? Uh, independent Forces. Right. Corelli is considered independent forces in this. Huh. Interesting. Uh, they do not actually have all the way to the core, it looks like. I don't see... So we got Duro. We got Chasen. We got Rendil up here. So we'll be able to take out, like, the Rendil shipyards. I can see how large their space stations are. Um... Qua is going to be the core for us. I think that's going to be, like, a, a victory condition. We have to take that out. Now, shockingly, the... Really? Huh. The Trade Federation is two jumps, two hyperspace jumps to Qua at the moment. Whereas Corellia... Huh. Well, we've got a backline that we've got to deal with first, and we've got some fairly substantial fleets. Let's start stacking some fleets, and I think we're going to go after Vulcan and try to take out Ch Chardan. So yeah, let's do it. Now, who is this hero? I don't recognize you. Looks like a Zabrak, and maybe those are tattoos. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a force of depth with a history as a sniper engineer, navigator, and starship captain. She is Volta. I don't know what she's from. Hidden as a child by her parents out of fear of the Jedi would take her away. The individual's death of her family members in unrelated Republic actions cemented her loyalty to the CIS. Unre wait, unrelated Republic actions cemented her loyalty. Okay, so she's loyal to the CIS due to actions that have nothing to do with the Republic. Gotcha, but she's loyal to that faction. That faction has decided to call the Republic their enemies, obviously. Um, now... There are some unique mechanics in this mod. One of them being we have to worry about food supplies, we have to worry about industrial supplies, and tr uh, ship crews. Which is a little weird because we're the Separatists, so we literally build our ship crews. They are droids. We're actually playing a droid as a main character. There's Grievous as well. Grievous, what do you have as your space version? Uh, da, 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 da. After shuttle crash, Grievous was rebuilt by Count Dooku, who proceeded to train him in a lightsaber combat developed by psychological hatred for the Jedi due to the Republic intervention in on his homeworld, famous for the use of extreme tactics. Yeah, he's kind of a scumbag. Modified Providence class carrier, destroyer, invisible hand. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, he gets the, he gets the invisible hand. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and unpause. My players in the tabletop actually saw the... Uh, Oh, wait, no, it was like the Whisper something, which was a sister ship to the Invisible Hand, or it was the Invisible Hand. I, now I don't remember. It's been about three years. We're, we've been going four years on our tabletop campaign, our Star Wars one. Let's gather our party before venturing forth. We're going to grab up all of our ships down here in the south, because they're not doing anybody good this far away from the front line. Join up with General Grievous, and we need to choose what our main priorities are going to be. We also need to figure out what our production looks like. Um, I'm going to need... A whole bunch of iBots. I love that they're using this model. This is the uh, the Hunter. I believe that's the Hunter Probe Droid from uh, Episode 1. Also, it is the Bounty Hunter Droid Chassis. I can't remember the name of it from Star Wars Galaxies. You used to send these out across the galaxy to find where your bounty is, aka what planet your bounty was on. Very cool mechanic. Um, I want to send a droid to Bastine 4 and maybe Valken. What's our largest fleet? Wow, you guys are kind of cut off, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, not great. Not great at all. Are you a naval yard? You are, but not like a capital one. Where is our capital naval yard? It looks like we could turn... No capital ships or dreadnoughts, huh? Uh-oh. Do we not have a naval yard? Like a proper... Yeah, capital ships and dreadnought construction seem to be missing. We might not... Let me unpause and see if it's just like an update on the script down here. Uh, no! Oh, crap. We might have to make some space stations. So, what's the highest we can get? Uh, ba-ba-ba. 
Level three orbital strength, level three, level three. I saw a level four over the Roan Yard, which means we could pick up uh, trade ports. We could get a Golan Station. We could get political story research options. And then what, ground forces? Build ground structures and ground units, yeah. Which, we have labor camps, man. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side, everyone. Um, this will lower our influence, but decrease our construction time. It looks like a building. Labor camp used to force citizens to, into labor camps to drive military production. Provides built time. Bonuses on all military hardware. Prevents local, local militias won't spawn because they're too busy building near droids. Dark. Super dark. This also lowers your influence. Whereas the local infrastructure in, will actually gain you influence. So you have to balance them, I guess. And then, of course, your Aggie. And I'm going to say this is your Naval Academies. And we can't put an engineering facility on there. If you look really closely, it's probably really hard for you guys to see this. And it doesn't show up when you zoom in. But right underneath this planet, it says plus 10 has a little gear on it. That means um, we're generating some of these special resources. The gear would be, if I scroll down here, your industrial supplies. Pretty cool, right? That's unique to this series of mods uh that Corey has produced so all right i guess the best production facility would be the ron yards and at the moment um they're kind of just waiting for us to ooh, what is this increase the intergalactic banking clan support of the separatist council about five percent integrates one of the sub factions plans and integrates one of the sub factions planets one of some so that's commerce guild Trade Federation. So if we did Trade Federation, it says integrate one sub-faction planet. Let's try it and see what happens. Research. I'm going to build this. I don't know what it does. I've never built it before. What I do know, though, as I unpause, is that clicking this planet, I have no access to proper capital ships. Now, that's not going to stop us. We are heading in, and we're going to move in quickly. I'm going to move Grievous. I'm actually going to... I think I might just double stack these. We're gonna want these Lucre Hulks oh, stacked up. And let's get a fleet lead. It was going to be, uh, let's do something small. Let's do one of our transports. Let's check out Bestine. And let's check out Vulcan. Vaclin, I keep saying Vulcan. I've been watching Lower Decks recently. Absolutely love that show. Season three is out and it's so freaking good. Uh, you know what? We're gonna take Vaclin. So I never have to say the name again. Let's roll. Oh, the other thing that I want to do before we start a fight, I wanted to order up some ground units and I wanted to try out the MTT. Oh, don't tell me none of you can make the MTT. Aha, here we go. Heavy production at Morja is a thing that we can do. Um, oh, you've got mining facilities down here. Really? Let's order up a couple of MTTs because I find them very interesting. Uh, they should be able to deploy. Can carry 112 battle droids to the battlefield. Yeah, on a hydraulic rack. That's freaking cool. Also, uh, we can't go wrong with a couple of Hellfire droids, so we'll get those ordered. And then um, let's get... Seriously? There they are. Give me the MB1 platoon. No, they're like companies, aren't they? No, they're platoons. They're considered platoons. All right, our first battle begins. I want to I wanna swarm battlefields with B1 battle droids. I kind of love the idea that capital ships are going to be something that I can't replace in this campaign. They're going to be that kind of core. You have your main fleet. They I better survive. Um, it's confirm. one of my favorite things about and I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this. Oh, get in there, Gazantes. Um about the, the, the permanent casualties to heroes and to some capital ships in other mods. I quite like it, but for this mod, it probably wouldn't really work for every one of like the heroes in the main capital ships due to the fact that it really does play off the idea of the Clone Wars, how we see it in the series. You lose a lot of ships. The front line is the front line. Once you're committed and you're kind of stuck in, you better hope your formation is good and your ship choice is right because you're going to start losing ships left and right. And even in the best victories, you're still going to lose some ships. Awaiting command. Let's keep getting closer. Um, I want to make sure that I drop out of hyperspace relatively Jeez, close to the enemy so I can come command. out at the formation that I want. Confirmed. That's my thinking. We'll even start with maybe a recusant. Let's see, you're uh, anti-fighter, right? Fragile. Yeah. Fragile Light Destroyer originally built to act as a raiding vessel for the Commerce Guild and later sold off into other groups. While not the most durable ship, they are capable of out outputting significant damage for long range and can carry significant point defense arrays for strike craft. Really, you've got good long range capability. 
you've only got one heavy dual turbo laser. How in the world are you considered good at long range? Like if, wait, let's see, the destroyer. What do you got? Oh, okay. I guess it is a heavy turbo laser. What about Providence? Uh, we have two Providences counting. Yeah, no, no joke. No joke, the way that this is balanced out. Uh, heavy, looks like turbo lasers are substantially a rare, a rare device. So here's what we're gonna do. These are replaceable ships. They're also anti-missile ships. Let's go. Let me just double check and make sure I, I remember fighting these. Commerce Guild transport cruisers fitted with a respectable number of laser batteries. It's often used as a fast and secure courier vessel by ranking corporate individuals serve as an anti-fighter screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it has an ability, if I'm not mistaken, that can swack missiles out of the air. And it's, it's kind of tanky for what it is, if I remember right. It'll still die pretty quick, but we have three different kinds of Luger Hall. We got the battleship, we have the carrier, and we have the auxiliary warship. Now the auxiliary warship is sitting at 20,000 hull, 25,000 shields. The warship, 26 and 30. You're gonna be our point man on this. Oh, look at that. Um, and then we're gonna flank you with a carrier. This planet is ours. Is ours. And then we'll drop another one of these, I think, and Let's bring in a little bit of that heavy firepower in the rear, but we're gonna put it way back. And we're gonna see how far out it can actually reach. Let's go ahead and unpause, drop out of hyperspace. Hello, everyone. We're gonna have a little bit of hyperspace sickness coming out. It means that they were probably gonna lose a little bit of damage and a little bit of tank. Uh, you know what? Not really. That was full of lies. That didn't do any of that. Yep, see the laser? Okay, that's not good. Let's go ahead and pull you back. So you should see little lasers coming out of them and they're stopping torpedoes at the moment. I thought that was a thing for them. I'm surprised it's not in their description. Let's bring in another Gazanti. They're easy to replace. Our carriers dropping enemy or friendly fighters. <laughs> enemy fighters. I'm not the Republic and I have to remember that. Oh, my poor Arquintans. That man just got deleted. And let's get our, oh wow, look at that. It's the Belba. The battle of the ball, the ball, the I used to have one of these in Star Wars Galaxies, and it was the fastest thing. You got it, I think you got it in one of the expansions. Um, I don't remember for doing what, but... Oh, the droid noises are hilarious. Some forces managed to make it away. Uh, I think only the Carrick that was in the middle of that was actually a built unit. I think the rest of them were free that came with the Starbase. It's surprised they fell back. You can even see a blockade runner in the background. And he would have been a free unit. Um, no, okay, yeah, respectable, respectable. Two, uh, four Dreadnought Heavy Cruisers. This was not an attack force, it was just a local defense group. But it has put us in a position where we're ready to do the ground invasion of Vaclin, which I should just start calling Vulcan um, and drive people nuts. Let's see, how are our droid production going? Not really, I haven't had a chance to really get them going. Woo, Bestine, how you doing? You don't have anything right now. I'm almost tempted to send the warship, the CIS warship, um, over there. Let's get a spy committed to this. And, oh, you're, you're a capital ship production too, aren't you? Unit yeah, we gotta get Chasen. Chasen and Duro. There's this like battle line, look at it, where they don't have maxed out, but they're probably gonna be working on it. We need to hurry though. I wanna take this back line out fast. Uh, where's that, where's that spy? And we're gonna pause. Activated. I recognize you, I think. Let's see, Koi. He's a moth. Straightforward human male with a little care for sensitivity of humanity. During the Clone Wars, became one of the first moths and the officer in charge of the Ivory Fang Sector Command. Never mind, I have no idea who you are. Um, your battle group isn't insubstantial, but I think we can take it with minimal casualties if we move quickly. I'm gonna leave a single ship in support. We'll leave it for a cousin here to run command operations, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit them. While we wait for our ground troops to build up, we do need to hurry. I wanna get our forces to the front line as quickly as possible, but I wanna decimate this back line. Did they take Denon? Uh, and also, uh, friendly forces behind the lines. Yeah, 
uh, I'm not gonna be able to help you guys. We might be able to dig it on the ground. Are you maxed out? You're not maxed out yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and I'm funnel sorry. some resources to you. I love the idea of the Republic wasting time and effort trying to hold on to this. So we're gonna go ahead and make it just a little bit harder on them to take this. Um, this would give us assault tanks. This would give us a planetary shield generator. Uh, prevents orbital bombardments, bombing runs, and victory point conquests. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna focus on those two things. If we can keep a sizable ground army as well, we might be able to hold that. That's an expensive. That was about a quarter of our, our current amount of uh, credits for this week just dumped into a planet that's far out there, but I'm hoping we can hold on to it. Uh, with the, the number of ground spots it has, I think it's possible. I think we could. Okay, our fleet's on the way. I think it's ready to, to do this. I think we're ready to start this fight for Chidan. Tactical battle imminent. We don't have a fleet lead. Oh no. Oh no, that means that um, our, our Gazanti that was in the fleet originally must have been destroyed. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's gonna make this a lot harder. Because we're gonna have this bizarre formation where we're super spread out. Um, we're gonna have to pack this in and we can't choose what we've got. So we've gotta use what we've got. Uh, okay, battleship, please tell me. It's, it's the battle carrier. So we're fighter heavy now against a enemy fleet that's relatively fire heavy because it's got three of these absolutely gorgeous Venators. Finest ship of the Republic fleet. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Also, they've got victories. I'm not thrilled with that either. And it, they've also got a hero, so, hmm, hmm. This could go bad for us. Very, very fire heavy. Let's get the hyenas and the vultures moving. Let's get... Zanti's sick with the fleet. Yeah, with the tri droids. These things are so weird. They cool looking. Very cool looking. Um, and then our other bombers. I guess are gonna be the bulbs. We'll move the bulbs up. What are you? You're the Ginevix Fighter Squadron, a fan-shaped fighter built by the Genosians. Of course, it is. That's why it looks so weird. Um, uh, for Count Dooku's most trusted acolytes and officers. It is na oh, this is the one he used to escape in episode two with. It is named for the distinguishing energy fin along its spine and extremely well shielded compared to most other fighter designs. <gasps> eh, I like the idea that, I always like the idea that he had that, that weird ship because he was ecleptic and he wanted a strange ship to be his, like a collector's kind of deal, right? Not the idea that it was actually a warship. He seemed like the kind of guy, well, he seemed like the kind of guy that would wear a cape into a military operation. Let's get you up here. Ooh, what do you have? So another Geonosian ship, uh, but this one has sensor jamming. It emits a pulse that scrambles the guidance of enemy warheads. Gotta remember we've got that. Uh, we're gonna double up on targets. The enemy is actually approaching us. We need to get into our formation quick. I am going to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. We're going to tell everyone now. to hold position, so everyone stop. Yeah. Get it the command carrier now. pushed up, because you still have like 20,000 health. Let's get the Whisper up here. And by Whisper, I mean not the Whisper. What is he? This is his ship is called the uh, Invisible Hand. Invisible Hand. All right. Our fighters have engaged. Massively outnumber the few that decided to break. Those are not Y-Wings. I didn't actually get to see what those were. Sad times. Um... All right, torpedoes are away on target, and majority of them are kind of missing. Slam everything you've got into this dreadnought. I want you to take out his primary weapon systems. And then as soon as I'm ready, we're gonna break fighters to engage theirs. Now, they're gonna lose. Those fighters are gonna lose, but I'm hoping they kill enough of them. We are gonna kill that dreadnought before they have a chance to actually engage us. Oh, fall of the Republic. I am really feeling that. I'm just redirecting the bombers now. Redirect other bombers now. Really feeling that FPS drop. It is a giant fuzzball in the middle. Oh, look at those arcs. That's not an arc. What is that? I sort of remember. I think that was from one of the games. All right. One ship destroyed. You know what? Let's save ourselves some trouble. Stop putting rounds into that Venator. The main fleet can do that. We're going to break off and go after somebody else. And I think we're going to go after a couple of the... Um, 
Let's go after a couple of the acclimators. We can start thinning that crowd and we can actually take his shields down. Our fighters are still harassing. Hopefully they're respawning over here. Also, let's move the dreadnoughts up. Blah! You're anti-fighter. You're looking good. Please start respawning fighters. You guys are supposed you guys were supposed to die faster than this. Honestly. I don't know where y'all are going. Start engaging the fighters that are right in front of you. I mean, I like that you've distracted the enemy force to the point where we're actually going to kill another capital ship with a few bombers that we've got. Um, wow. The f are you seriously already in range? Yeah, I think he's... I, I, yep, he's already in range with that heavy cannon. It, it must be a heavy turbo laser. So heavy turbo lasers have a range in Fall of the Republic. No, it's the heavy dual ion cannon. Look at the rounds. Hey, uh, redirect your fire to that, but don't actually move anywhere. I'm going to have you hold position. Republic cruiser has sustained critical damage. Good. We're starting to exchange fire. Very light fire. Uh, Grievous, you seem to have scarabs, so I'm going to send you in. Now, I've been into some fights already in this, and I did not have this much of an FPS drop, so I wonder if there's something special going on on this map that is causing this. Uh, come on, kill those fighters. Those are Y-Wing squadrons. No joke. Yeah, those are B those are like so pseudo BTLs. Freaky. Freaky. Their forward animation is really good and I hate it. All right. Here's what I want from you guys. Focus your fire on the support vessels that are approaching. They're stopping our torpedoes from getting through. We need to overwhelm their defenses and kill them very, very quickly. Sadly, this Providence is already starting to lose his... Do fire? His shields. We need to gain a upper hand in this as quickly as possible. So, how are we doing over there? I swear, I feel like we're missing every shot. Never mind. We'll wait till they get closer. Apparently, we can't hit these targets. Grievous, fire away. Yeah, there's no way your lasers are going to stop that many torpedoes. There you go. You can see ours are starting to go off. And we're starting to get some spawns finally. Yay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We do have weird trick of this mod. Oh, man, their formation is actually really, really good. We're very lucky. Uh, oh, the reinforcements are starting to drop in, too. We're very, very lucky that oh, we're going to lose that Providence. Let's start pulling that Providence back. Have we started winning this fight in the front, in the north? Yes, we took out another... We're about to take out two Venators. Um, their support ships are still here, and they're stopping a lot of damage. Can we just, like, Alpha Strike these fairly quickly? Yes, we can. One down. Just move on to number two. They're close enough that we can actually hit them with the main turbos. They're in range of the lights and the mediums. And switch your primary fire to this next blockade runner. And then we'll be able to focus on this while all of our missiles actually get through. Um... Venator's probably going to be our next primary target. Yep. Wreck the Venator. Don't put it into the Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts aren't that powerful. They don't have that many weapons on them, comparatively. But they do have a decent amount of tank, so we're going to wait on that. We are going to lose a Providence in this fight, which is very painful. But they're about to lose multiple Venators. I would feel a lot better if they lost them quicker. Bow, 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 bow. Our fighters are still... Davey. Uh, we're still fighting. We're still in this fight. I don't know how it's possible. Two more enemy capital ships are coming in from the rear. And that Providence is still alive. It's still holding the line. We're gonna have to start shoring up our right-hand side, though we've started to win the front. The battle on the left. Another Venator is down. Let's clear out the victories. I hope you guys are over here, you know, stopping missiles. I don't think they actually are. All right, there's a hole. There's a hole in the line. Open fire. See our anti-missile systems going off against them. Um, you go ahead and start making your run. Grievous, go for the Y-wings that are right there. Man. See the lasers going off. Now, we should be able to bring in reinforcements at this point. I'm probably going to wait until we can get a battleship up. And that's going to be... Oh, our losses are going to have to get stacked. We need to lose another 14. Which is going to happen due to the front lines. We'll move up a Dreadnought. Or a Destroyer. Everybody over here. 
focus on the Arquintans. I hate to say it, but they're very easy to kill, and that's a lot of damage that we can just remove very, very quickly. Look how fast he's dropping. As soon as he's dead, we'll move over to the Mark 1 Acclimator. That Dreadnought is almost dead. And we have enough ships in range to actually get this jerk done. Yes, we do. Our fighters are making a bit of a mess in the back line. That's that same group of fighters. We are going to lose that Force Sensitive. That hero is probably going to die. Now that we've gotten stuck in. Uh, I think we... Ah, oh, shields are almost down. Nice, nice, nice. That Acclimator is almost dead. Yeah, she's running, but she's, I don't think she's going to make it. Nope, there she goes. Ship's been destroyed. Switch over to the Mark II Acclimator. Things are starting to smooth out now, and we are ready to bring in a Lucre Hulk. Auxiliary Warship. I'm not going to say no to it, particularly because we need it right here. Let's do it. I'm dropping out of hyperspace now. As long as the donuts survive, I'm quite happy. Our first reinforcement. And open fire. Everything you've got. Probably should have waited to the Dreadnought, honestly. Oh, that ISC's got to go. Those heavy, heavy weapons are going to cause us a lot of trouble. How many bombers that we've got right now? Start working on this. The rest of you, that other Providence, is on fire and it's hurting. You've got them. You've got them. You've got them. You bombers. Come with us. Hit the back end of, and take out the Assault Concussion Missile Launchers on the Victory Classes. We've got more reinforcements ready to go. I'm going to go with some long-range Ionic Firepower and another Dreadnought to soak up some of the damage in the rear. Hopefully so we can hold out. Your job is kill the ISD. Let's remove this hero from the fight. Also, Grievous, where are you at? Yeah, you're almost recharged on those missiles. Good. Focus all of your fire, Grievous, on that ISD. Almost got him. We'll get rid of that hero, Cap, too. Nice! We actually ended up cleaning up this side of the front. Go to the arcs. You gotta kill him quick. Uh, yeah, just get in there. How we doing over here? We need to keep your fire focused. Pop your disruption. Now you see he's almost... There it is! Their hero is dead. Focus fire on the Venator. Let's see if we can stop some of these fighters coming in. Okay. We can bring in destroyers. And I... You know what? I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be a miss to it. Let's bring them in. Two destroyers coming in. We've got one that needs to sit in the back because he's very badly wounded. Your fighters need to get up here. And I feel like we're kind of cleaning up. Dispatching all bombers to clear out the enemy fighters that are approaching. Look at these hyenas coming in from the rear. Like, hyenas from the beginning of the fight in the mob, I think. I'll take it. Oh, it's so smooth now. Buttery, there's something in that fight that was just destroying our FPS. I wonder if there's a certain unit that's got a bit of a, a memory leak or something. Because I was testing this earlier and it was fine. All right, let's go for it. So I have to have a Pathfinder unit. I think that was the big oh crap moment. I didn't have a Pathfinder leading the charge, so I couldn't organize the fleet. I should have had the battle carrier, not the battle carrier, the battleship come in first, flanked by our diamonds worked pretty well last time. Maybe even going with the um, hard cell missile ships to give us that extra firepower from the concussion, the concussion missiles, particularly when we get close. Mm, mm, I don't know. There's something to be said, too, for just, like, a battle group of Munificence for that long-range damage. I'm noticing we haven't actually won the fight yet. And the enemy is trickling in. Give me all bombers. Break for the actual... ...base. I don't know if we're gonna have to kill all these. Let's crack this. You do have the laser weapon technology, but I don't think it'll matter. Ah, oh, the accuracy is real bad. Vipers, where you at? Help them. Vipers, not vipers. Get in there, vultures. Playing too much Battlestar Galactica in that last series. 
Uh, all right. Try droids. Get up here. We can fast forward this a bit. Bombers, go ahead and break off. Start hitting the starbase. If we crack the starbase, we'll win. Keep them off us. There you go. There you go. You outnumber them substantially. It shouldn't take you long to kill that. Rest of our bombers, keep pushing through. Right past the Golan platform. We're going to see how much damage we can do to a starbase. Here comes the run. Um, would you guys get over here? Yeah, group one is still alive. There are still fighters. Wow, you guys did some damage. Hit it again. Group one is still kicking. And so are a few members of group four. Not very many. Yeah, they took his shields out almost instantly. All right, back off, bombers, and get to the swarm of hyenas. Let's clear these fighters out so we can hit them. The fleet is moving, but it is moving slowly. How are we doing on damage? Eh, a quarter of it. And then the bulbs are coming in. There's a few hits. Should be a few more. Drop your payload when you're ready. Come on. There it is. Torpedoes away. Eh, about half damage. So, group one, you should be able to clear these spiders out. Come on now. Particularly the arcs. You outnumber them like 200 to 1. We need you. Start killing enemy fighters. They're thinning out our crowds here. They're going to make me fight this, aren't they? There it is. There we go. All right, all fighters engage that target. Everyone else, hold position for the siege. Okay, we can move in the donuts. We've almost taken out the shields with just bombers. Uh, there is... Oh, wow, I mean, the, the effectiveness of the carriers... Pretty freaking good. These, these fighters are getting work done. I'm a bit surprised. I mean, they are two Luger Hulks. They should have an like, absolute massive amount of droid fighters inside. You can even see the big old hangers there. There will be no escape this time. Hmm. Painful. We traded two capital ships. The Lucid Voice. The Lucid Voice? Oh no! The Lucid Voice. This is the Whisper. I think that's the actual name of it. That's the one my player saw in that asteroid belt. Um, the wreckage of an... Uh, how was it? It was one of the shipyards outside the corridor, and I can't think of the name of it now. Imperial one. Well, anyways. Uh, we managed to take out four. Well, okay, they lost four, five, six. They lost seven capital ships. They lost Victories and Venators. We lost two. It kind of sucks that we lost that many of them, but... I'm hoping if we take this, we might be able to start producing our own capital ships. We do have a few replacements out there. We just have to break through and get to them. That Providence, how many Providences are in this fleet? Oh, literally one and a support group. Hmm. Not great. Let's get you some, I'm ordering you a frigate. And we're gonna prepare the epic ground invasion. So, give me all of my B1s. Give me all of my new MTTs, which are those big, heavy uh, transports. B1 battle droid transports. They should all be... I'm going to move you to... This is friendly territory. I have another hero right here, too. To figure out who he is. And set up for the invasion. Let me check the stats. We got an MTT in there, right? <gasps> we don't! Up oh, there it is. First one just finished. Get over here. Recussant, report to... I can't get to you. Whoop! Oh, credit stockpile, mission complete. Completing or complete this event will increase the banking clan's opinion of the CIS by five. Uh, save credits. You need to save up 20... I'll get two Munificent Star Frigates if I save up 25,000 credits. I'm at six now. I'm making five a week. Oh, man. Okay. That means I can't build anything for a while. That's gonna... That may be a terrible plan. All right, here we go. MTT is going to be the first thing that hits the deck. The enemy has... Ah, next to nothing. Next to nothing. Um, they do have a Republic base we're going to have to take out, which has reinforcements in it, but it shouldn't be too hard to wipe them out. And we get to try the MTT, which I'm hoping drops 
a stupid number of droids. Here it is. Here's the ability. Let's look at the animation. He didn't do it. He's spazzing right now. Oh no. I didn't get droids either. What is happening? All right, let's get some B1s. Wait a minute, that was like a squad of B1s, not a platoon. He's stuck. There he goes. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. It's just, he got stuck and then he had to like, weird. Oh, look at the animation on that. All right. Where's the rest of them? That's it? All right. Oh, hey, but these are, Better come up with a plan. they're different. These are assault B1s, but I only get one squad. So they get rockets. Yeah, they're anti-tank. All right. I guess that's a thing. And we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see if we get another ability. I'm hoping this thing is super tanky at least. So far, I'm not super impressed. 900 health. Let's compare that to an AAT. Uh, see how those hold up. AATs are very cool things. Dropping. And we'll pick up a military field base as well. So we can get some free B1s. Um, yeah, let's get some commandos for scouting. For scouting and for capturing. Let's move you MTTs to, well, right here. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, commandos. Let's go. And looks like you have the sprint ability. So double tie. Holy crap, you're fast. We've already made contact with the enemy. Just a handful of droids, or droids clones. You should be able to take them out fairly quickly. Come on, commandos. You're expensive. Also go and capture this so we have a little bit of fire support. B1s! Let's go! Okay, okay. Yeah, you guys are doing good. What is this ability? Swap ammo. Switch to the missile type in the AAT's launcher. Swap ammo. I wonder which ammo we should be using against armor. Push forward with B1s. And we're gonna go ahead and pick up anti-vehicle. And let's go ahead and get a spider walker or five. Let's go, wait a minute, what? Oh, because we built the uh, the outpost, we got some super battle droids, which is something we need to invest into. Honestly, super battle droids are cool. Vastly superior to the B1. <laughs> so many of them, though. <laughs> oh, 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 we got droid because rolling. Gotta be careful. I've, I've learned anything from all the years of fighting the Separatists is that always be very careful with your droid because they're very easy to kill until they deploy. If you played any Battlefield, the original or EA's remake, you would know this too. All right, come on, you gotta hold. We're capturing the point. I still can't deploy more forces and this freaking MTT is about to die. Gonna be honest, not really thrilled. Super impressed. Ah, somebody died. Come back here. You need to capture this. Keep firing, men. Got locals and what, phase one clones? That's how you know we haven't run into anything they've actually built yet. We haven't captured this. Yes, we did. We've captured it. Uh, no, no, we haven't. Sit on this point. You got to capture it. We need these reinforcements. B1s. Get up here and start sucking up the damage. Let's go. They've got AA, so no bombing runs for us just yet. Glad we found this. Before we managed to bring in a bombing run. We got the landing zone, and we should have spider droids back here. We do indeed. What did we capture back here? Oh, hey! Uh, what the heck are you? M91 military walkers. Ready to go. What are you from? That is like the most bare bones looking walker ever. All right, we are in trouble. We've got reinforcements on the way. I'm moving up the AATs to give them some covering fire. Um, I do, I don't have an orbital strike yet. Still can't call in more reinforcements with that damn thing. 
Uh, let's bring in more ATTs. And another gigantic group of B1s. This is lots of B1s. This was the dream when I started this campaign. Bring in all of the B1s. Let me deploy pretty quickly. Uh, why are we unit destroyed right now? Hmm? Switch back to your normal weaponry. We have a bombardment. <laughs> 25 squads. 36 squads. I'm just ordering the B1s to go into the enemy base. You see what I mean about, like, there's no reason that that space battle should have been laggy? Look at how many B1s we have. Who, by the way, can fire and move. Let's go! <laughs> hey, can you do the thing yet? No, man. I think I think they may have overcorrected a bit. I guess the MTT a while back was really broken and it would just make tons and tons of free units. And I'm starting to think they may have overcorrected just a wee bit. If you had any kind of AOE, if you guys had like a group with just a box of grenades, I feel like you could do such horrible damage to us right now. Um, this is a drop site, but I feel like this army wouldn't be bothered with that. They would just continue to push. Let's go! <laughs> Don't stop moving. Just keep going. You can fire and move. There's enough of you. I have an orbital strike, and I'm saving it. For what, I don't know. The ground is moving. All right. Orbital strike on the single saber tank. There it is. Yep, just go right into the middle of whatever that is. What's going on back here? I hear we're under attack. Well, the armor has arrived, but nobody wants to risk it, so we haven't moved it forward. <laughs> hey, empty. Nope, still can't do it. You know, that thing was expensive, too. I think that thing was like a grand and a half or something. The scale of this mod just cracks me up. Oh, you got it. Good job. Let's go, B1s. Hey, what's up? If you could have a droid, one droid, right? Hung out in your house and helped you do stuff. You're gonna lose that droid again. What would it be? For me, hands down, and it wouldn't be honestly that useful. It would be an astromech. They're just so freaking cool. But they don't really have hands, so they wouldn't be able to do much. They'd be able to, like, pick up a broom. <laughs> Go over here and help. Clearing out the last turrets. They must have... Oh, yeah. No, they've got... That's not good. Focus your fire on the anti-tank! Quick! There is a collection. We can do it again! There it goes. We only got to use it twice, and it only deployed two squads. Now, I guess there is a an idea to be had about, like... Okay, that only deployed two squads during that entire battle, right? Which was a battle where they didn't have that many troops. But now imagine if you had four of them. So that's four squads. It's eight squads. For, eh, it's still only one group of B1s if I just built them straight up. But you wouldn't have the fire support and the extra tank. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you think the, B, the, the MTT is supposed to be. Or has it just been nerfed into the ground and isn't really worth it? We have the world. It's under our control. And we're ready for the next ground invasion. Ah! I feel like... Ah, do we have Hellfires in the army? Because that just didn't feel very... as effective as I needed it to be. Other than the B1s being amazing. Yeah, we actually don't have any Hellfires. We should probably invest... At least in, like, two Unit units of them, and then hopefully they survive. And then everything else needs to go into space production at this point. Which is going to have to be Munificence and Recossence. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the campaign. I thought the first battle was a bit of a, of a cluster, but I'm hoping that we get better as we learn how to run a Separatist fleet. I'll catch you all 
in the next one. Later, everybody.